You will see that now. Now, previously I was having two pole machine. Now I am having four poles. So alternating and south will be this one, north will be this one, and south will be this one. These are formed in such a way that this will be connected to this, this will be connected to this, this with this, and that this way, and uh, they will be having if it is not an electromagnet, if it is an electromagnet, then these the wiring will be there, and if it is a permanent magnet, then no wiring will be there, and the poles will be such that alternating poles will be there. So now what will happen if I put brushes on this one can clearly see that that when that commutation was going here now since this is also a pole now what will happen under the pole since flux will be there so according to E is equal to d5 by dt since flux is there EMF will be generated and when the EMF will be generated, but of course the current will be there and if the current will be there, then again in the commutation zone, as I already said that there should not be any current and the current, in, this current will produce a circulating current and this current will be producing I square R losses as well as sparking also, as well as heating up also, as well as the wear and tear of the brushes. So I cannot keep my brushes over here. So at this point, I have to put my brushes in such a way, but of this my conductor would be here. When I am talking about four pole machine, the conductors would be here. So I can, so I will be having a four commutator segments. So. Here, the, there will be two magnetically neutral axes. One is this one, another is this one. So, I can keep my brushes on either of the magnetically neutral axes. But other than this, this would be like this. These lines are actually separation. These lines are shown, showing actually the separation of the brushes. So these these will be the brushes now. If it, if it is a two pole, uh, only two brushes are there. There could be more brushes also. I'll keep my brushes like this. So the more number of conductors. A more number of poles, so I will have to keep them in such a way that there is no uh, magnetic lines of forces when, uh, where when the commutation is going on. Now, <clears throat> coming to another part which is called as the loading effect of the DC channel. I will put my DC generator as like this, these are the brushes now <coughs> and from these brushes I will put brushes in black color so that you will be able to understand these are my brushes and my external wiring are connected to the brushes and our load is connected over here and now I make the load variable and this is connected to the prime number. So this prime mover is rotating this. So my generation uh, my generator's rotor is also moving. Since the rotor is moving, the conductors are also moving. 
and when the conductor starts moving in a magnetic field, EMF is generated and these EMF will be coming to the brushes uh, and since the load circuit is there, uh, load actually load is connected to the output circuit, a current starts going into this direction. So, now what happens when the load is getting fluctuated? If I start increasing my load to take up that much of load, the current will start building up. If I increase my load, the current will start increasing and this current will be asking for more power drawn from the prime mover. How? Again, if I increase my load, but always my current, I will start increasing, which is flowing in the external circuit, it will start at in increasing. Now this current, since it is an energy conversion device, so uh, as we know that energy cannot be created, now it can be destroyed, it can change one form to another. So, uh, this is my mechanical part and this is my electrical part. So, when there is an increase in the electrical part load, but obvious to draw this load, uh, this generator will start building up the current, the current will be increasing to take up that much of load. Now this current is increasing. So what obvious energy is increasing here? Part of the energy is increasing here. What obvious a mechanical part should also reflect in the same way. So this generator will ask for more power from the mechanical side to the electrical side. How this is happening actually? We will see that <coughs> Again, if I am having a north pole and south pole, so this is my conductor, this is another my another conductor. What happens? According to that, this rule I as said, right hand rule. Uh, what happens? The current is here in this. When uh, there is a current in this conductor. Then again we have said that according to Faraday's law, uh, the magnetic field will also be there across the conductor. So actually lines of forces would be like this. And I am having a conductor over here where my current suppose is going inside and here my current is coming outside. So when the current is going inside, I can see that the, here my direction of the e, uh, magnetic field of this conductor would be clockwise direction. Here it will be anti-clockwise direction. Here it is clockwise direction. So what I can see that here it is getting up, here it is going down and it is in negative position. So the total, total as if I talk about the total way, what I will see that there is the gathering of total magnetic field here and there is a less magnetic field here. So the conductor will, so, so the magnetic field will, field will try to move this conductor downwards, but my actual direction is like this, the direction of my uh, uh, motor is like this, my motor sorry, my generator is like this, generator is moving in this direction and the force is in this direction and if I add up all my conductors, will be like, this would be like this, this would be like this, this would be like this, 
So all the conductors force will be added up in a negative direction. So this negative direction will give us the this direction, my actual direction of prime mover is this, my force will be like this in the upper direction, in a counter clockwise direction to this, sorry, two clockwise direction to this, counter clockwise direction of my prime mover. So, my prime mover will try to build up to have that much of extra load which to overcome this force also. So it will start again, it will try to pull it in the same direction in the previous direction so that so to counteract this load. So now my mechanical part is, is drawing more power from the uh, uh, engine or from the motor whatever it is connected to here. It will draw more power. So more power will be coming here. So current will increase. So that will be able to take up the load. This force is what? B I L sin theta. This is called the Lorentz force, which it was acting in the reverse direction. <coughs> now coming to very interesting fact which is called as the <coughs> armature reaction. What is exactly the armature reaction? 